Hello guys, this is Mike from theprogramming.org. Um, I'm going to talk about constructors today. Uh, what a constructor is, is a method within a class. Uh, this is going to be, I'll just start writing it out as I explain. And this will always be set up like this. It will be public and they will not have a return type at all. And then it has to be called the same as the class name. So we're going to say public name and for now we'll leave empty parameters and then open and close brackets. Uh, pretty much what a constructor is is when you instantiate an object out of a class for each object uh, this will initial this can initialize certain values for the particular object and for this example I'm just going to have a name object and for each instantiation of this class uh, of a new object we're gonna give it a new name so I'm gonna show you how to well first let's just see if this this works so system whoops capital S system dot out dot print line and we're going to say constructor works exclamation point because we're excited about that all right let's instantiate name and see what happens so let's say name and we will just say lowercase name call it that equals this is where the instantiation takes place new name and since there's no parameters we'll just keep that like that and because you're instantiating name, it the constructor should automatically run, which means it should print constructor works at the bottom. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. Okay, there we go. It works. All right, so every time that we create and instantiate a new object, uh, we want to initialize it. We don't not every case but for the most part you want to initialize with some type of uh, you know numbers or names or whatever whatever the case may be in this particular case we want to use a name so to take in a parameter right here let's we'll set up up here a variable a private string and we're going to call it name so right in here we're going to say string name or whatever you want to call that and that is the parameter it will take in here so right here there should be an error yep and there it is because it let's see what it says add argument to match name with a string in it so I'll just fix this in here pretty much what we're going to do is say this dot name and this is referring to the, the class so the name right here this name equals name and we're pretty much saying that the name that is put into the parameter here will be set into this uh, variable and to show that it works let's just system dot dot print line name okay so just to keep our uh, object names so we know what we're referencing to make life easier. I'm just going to put it like that. Name it Mike and put in the name Mike. Makes sense. So let's see if it works. So I took in that name right there. Um, let's take this out. You can put in multiple uh, parameters like uh, let's just say int age let's also give it a private int age up here and we can say this dot age equals age uh, if you don't like using the word this that's that's one of the customs I use uh, you can you know these don't have to be the same word. Let's say int uh, years old. It's a weird thing to write. Capital O. 
we can say age equals years old and it'll, st it'll still be correct it'll still put whatever param whatever you put in this part of the parameter and put it into this so but the way I like to do it is this dot age equals age switch this back Air because now it's expecting an int. I am 27 at the moment, I believe. No, who knows anymore? Once you go over 20, you forget your age. But I'll just say 27. And um, let me add a two string method. Uh, let me see. So I'll do a shortcut source, generate two string. And we're going to use the name and age. And there we go. Uh, I'll explain. Maybe I'll go over a two string in the next video. But pretty much what a two string is, is it's a method that returns a string. And it will be a string representation of your object. Or else, if you just tried to print out uh, uh, Mike, you're probably going to get some type of hexadecimal... Uh, memory address or something like that but with a two string it sets it up for you already so if you look at it right here what it's going to do is it's going to return uh, it's going to say a name object um, and name equals and then the whatever is in this so however you instantiate that then the age so let's just run this and see what happens System dot out dot print line uh, might yeah might lowercase okay so there we go there's other ways you can create uh, constructors you can have multiple constructors for an object let's just say public name we're gonna leave this one blank and uh, let's see there's really no point to that but we can just leave all the everything blank we're not instantiating anything so let's, let's say public name um, string name let's say this dot name equals name alright so let's instantiate another name with that parameter. Say name Dustin, good friend of mine, equals name, and we'll just put in Dustin. Let's see what happens when we print out that object. Okay, so if you notice it automatically puts in a zero for uh, the age and I'm assuming if I don't put in any parameters it's probably going to say null for the name so let's try that out real quick name uh, Maya equals new name and I'm going to leave empty parameters for the blank constructor and let's print that out and see what happens Yeah, so you're going to get a null and a zero, but there are cases where you don't want to necessarily uh, initialize a uh, constructor, but most of the time you do, and that's what makes an object unique is initializing it to, to have the characteristics you want. And that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe to my videos, make programming, and I am thinking about maybe doing a, a uh, video on what static means and maybe what how to do two strings. Um, I just did a generic two string, but you can customize this however you want, so I can do that. And I also want to get into maybe doing some math video tutorials. Uh, I'm not, you know, a math wizard, but I feel like I'm decent enough to go over some basic stuff and have some fun with that and if you want to get into the computer world uh, 
I did not know this at first, but you end up doing pretty much nothing but math classes. So get used to it. And thank you for joining me, and y'all have a great night. And please subscribe to my videos, like I said. And my name is Mike at mcprogramming.org. Thank you.